Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. First video of 2022 on this beautiful Sunday. Short TA update. Let's quickly jump into the charts and see what's happening to Bitcoin in 2022 over here. Let's see, we have a four hour chart. You can see we broke out. We are retesting over here. This area, a double retest now. We are slowly moving up again. And the four hour, you know, it's always difficult to see what to do. That's why we use the BAM BAM indicator. And like the BAM was calling. If you zoom on a little bit, you can see it. Oh, the internet is really slow today. Let's see. And what is happening? You can see that you know the BAM is just telling you to short and to long on the moments you need to do it but that's a combination of a triple confirmation and only when there are triple confirmation is there you do the uh, official short or the long so you use a combined confirmation of these three indicators if you want to know more go to the bitcoinfamily.com BAM we go here this is also the four hour so um i on this four hour, i drew this green line of 450k that we want to reach but we need to break this red 200 day mo uh, 200 moving average on the four hour of course zoom out to the day channel and you can see something really cool um let's say we take the fibonacci from this level over here the zero level so we took this at zero we took this at the top and that you can see in the one level over here that would mean um, that if you zoom out a little bit that yes the pullback areas are 0 0.5 0 0.618 uh, we we did that now but if we would bounce we could bounce to create a new higher high to the 1.272 level or even the 1.618 level which would be 90k and let's say 80k so that would be that higher high and why i'm saying this low higher low even this if you count it is still a higher low but let's this area is also a higher low so we have a low we have a, a, a high we have a higher low we have a higher high we have a higher low we should create a higher high will it be there or will it be there that's the question in my opinion but that's all going to happen in 2002 that's what we know for sure no 30 no 100k in 2021 bam over here and um, if we zoom out a little bit more we are on the five day chart this is the gaussian channel uh, we touched that midline we are coming close to the midline because the midline is rising line 44 45k and we need to break out of this gaussian single sh uh, channel again this gaussian channel is pulling it downwards that's how you need to see it you, you it's being pulled to the bottom of this channel and uh, we need to fight really hard to get out of it and when we break out of it we can see this explosive move again five day chart now weekly chart oops over here the weekly chart and uh, we can see the same we have low higher low higher low uh, also again guys low high There's a new low a little bit higher high again a new low now we need to create a higher high um, the bam bam indicator to be clear is not calling along yet and let's see if the bam bam is right again because last few times it was right we had a long flag over there we're right short flag perfect long flag perfect short flag perfect so we are waiting for the bam on the weekly to give that long flag again and that would be for me the moment to do a low leverage long of a big amount because I think then that long would take us to 90k again, something like that. Really cool. Um, do we have a monthly as well? Yes, the monthly. Uh, last month, bearish month, we closed down below. Um, the orange line almost there, the 12 mo monthly moving average. Now we open it down below it. We need to pull back above uh, that orange line. And then we get the same effect that we had over here. Like three red months almost, and then one green large wick, but the body closed above it. This, when we close above it, will be a large wick as well. So this month, we need to go to the midline again. Uh, it is around 63k. Really cool. 
do we have any other shots yes we have any other shots we're going to jump bam over here again did it wrong bam my god my fingers are not working this is the mount of all time highs created by um uh charts btc yes uh you can see the first period over there we had 52 all time highs the second one 74 we only had 33 so we need around like 30 more <laughs> all time highs to come to the average um of these previous bull cycles and that is what you can clearly see on this chart as well look every bull cycle had a huge difference between the red and the green line the max and the minimum look here here again this bull cycle everything stayed very close to each other the red and green line didn't go wide out each other close to each other so in my opinion we still need to get this open wide area between red and green which could of course happen now in the first three months you never know now how was 21 21 was really cool if you look at this chart um, this shows you how 21 um, was felt by bitcoiners and by no bitcoiners so by noobs we call them new people in this market so when bitcoin was here at 29k we said wow bitcoin has a new all-time high that was the bitcoiners the non-bitcoiners was oh bitcoin is a bubble here he said ah there's some media fud bitcoin was double spent game over you know that's the difference in mindset here he said alan doesn't understand bitcoin alan says bitcoin is bad i i i'll buy a dog in coin instead you know here mining decentralization is what we saw uh, the non-bitcoiners the people that are new in the market saw china banned bitcoin oh it's completely done again done you know and then in september uh, we see a new era because the nation state adoption begins and then other people say only the small country adopted bitcoin is not a big deal and that's how every time um, everything else is perceived wrong or different by people that are long time in bitcoin and short time bitcoin taproot huge some technical stuff i'm too lazy to research you know all time high again bitcoin at 67 is a bubble can you see what is happening and now bitcoin crashed again to 45k and we are saying no oh, bitcoin is 55 percent up end of this year really cool job that was everything for today really short but i hope you really enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about these charts um, enjoy your sunday i'm going to go to Sonotus and to a temple somewhere in Tulum with the family. So I'm going to enjoy it as well. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam.